Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Extreme Flyways. It's early September teal season and you can bet your fine wine we're in the blind. We're going to be talking marsh seats, how to scout teal. Thank God it's hunting season. This is Extreme Flyways. You know, this year has been probably the craziest year I ever went till hunting. We have put thousands and thousands of miles pre-scouting these till in early August. When we got to September the 7th, I believe, was here shooting early till, we had no till nowhere. We're hunting maybe four or five till in a flock. This till season, it was like none other. It was way too hot. All right, guys, it's about 4.30 in the morning. About the first weekend of September. It's opening day of teal season in Missouri. And uh, Street Flyways and the whole crew is headed out, hopefully this morning. Somehow we can make it happen. The weather's been disastrous and terrible. Too hot, no cold fronts up north. Not very many birds to push down, but we managed to find a few of them on a few flood ditches, so we're going out this morning, we're gonna set up. We're out here on opening day of till season. It's always in the first part of your September. It's always hot, so you gotta dress light. All right, here it is, opening day of till season, and uh, today's hunt bites a big one. This is early till season. <laughs> what an unpredictable season, boy. Uh, man, it's hot, and the weather's just not right to bring the birds down. And um, <laughs> we beat a trail anyway. I threw all this brush down to get down this water, and uh, we didn't give up. The thing about early till season is we haven't really shot anything for eight months almost, seven, eight months. And we do a little dove hunting every now and then, but this gives us an opportunity to come out and get our feet wet on the new waterfowl season. The problem is it's hotter than hell, and a lot of the ducks hadn't pushed down yet. They're still holding up north. A few weeks ago we had a crazy cold front come through and a bunch of teal passed down and passed right by us and went on south. Here's the deal. You can't kill anything sitting home on the couch. You can't quit, can't give up, can't give in. If you're going to be a, a, a successful duck hunter, you're going to have to learn to go whether it's good or go whether it's bad. You can't shoot a bird sitting at home. A lot of the teal nested late this year. So they're not making their way down uh, as quick. So we found this, this morning scouting this little pond here, and uh, it's a washout is what it is from the Missouri River. And a lot of teal were working this area, two groups that we saw. So we're going to try to get in here this afternoon, set up basically for in the morning. But when we set up, we're going to hunt this afternoon. Now the problem is our decoy weights don't have enough length on the line to even get out there. and We don't have a boat with us to drag this far. It's out in the middle of the field. So I'm gonna have to take one for the team and take some sort of tool that we found in the back of the truck, tie the rope around it. I'm gonna go swim and I'm gonna take these decoys out. You know, the, the blue winged teal is a very unpredictable bird anyway. And they're found in, in places you normally wouldn't, you know, really expect to find them. In floodways, you know, just uh, floodplains off the rivers, uh, just places like that, just cuts the rivers have made and got little puddles of water in them. Larry can make anything out of nothing. You know, Larry may look stupid and act stupid and do things stupid, but when it comes down to making something to go duck hunting with, he's like a rocket scientist. He's gonna to go to the extreme to do whatever it takes to make his life simpler plus ours, because we're gonna copy generally whatever he makes. All right, we're out here doing a little kill hunting. Got a little slow spell here, and I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome marsh seat. You take your two milk crates, obviously you'd want black, and set them on top of each other, like so. And you come to the bottom of it, you can take your drill, which will work good, or I, ice pick, or I got a tester right here, and I'm going to waller me a hole out for my zip strip, like so. And you can do 
two on each milk crate. So you'll need eight, eight zip strips, eight 11, 11 inch zip strips. All right, after I got all my zip strips run through my holes, I, I'm on my last two here. Just gonna fasten my zip strips. Eight of them, remember. So the hole is in place. And then, voila, we have us a Marcy, which is ideal in corn. You can sit on it, put you at the perfect height. And if you're sitting a little too high, you can turn it like this, get yourself a little more low profile. You're good to go and come up. And also on this, I put me a rope on here. So it'll act as a backpack or strap so you can carry it out in the field with you. You got all your hands free. You can throw whatever you need in the back. And I tell you what, I'd rather have one of these marsh seats like this over any of them store bought high dollar fancy marsh seats. Man, our kale season, it started off really bad. Uh, man, the weather was really warm here. Uh, I mean, us and I mean the team. We just had we had to we had to all make a decision to go north. To be a successful duck hunter, you got to be willing to move. So we drove five and a half hours up north to get onto the Missouri River to catch these teal. All right, here we are. I think we're into the third day of the season, and it's been rough. It's been a hundred, hundred and five with heat index. Uh, we come all the way up northern Missouri chasing these birds and I think we hit it just right. I think we're really going to smack them these next two or three days. Today, head of this front, make the most smack. Beautiful bird, ain't it? Beautiful bird. No matter what the situation is, you've got to be able to adapt to be a successful duck hunter. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I want to encourage you to join us next Thursday night as we continue to smash the teal, strap the horses, load the wagon. This is Extreme Flyways.